All right, so for the past month, I've been in Europe, traveling through Europe, and I wanted to document a little bit of this. Even if no one watches, in 50 years, when I'm old and I watch back on this, I'm gonna be like, oh, look at all those cute times, good moments. And I will be doing a sketch in every city I visit. So come with me to see pretty things and sketch some people. Hostia, tío, estoy en España. Joder. All right, and right now I am by the Royal Palace. I don't think anyone lives there, but I mean, I'm not a tour guide, I'm not sure. I just walked past Plaza España, which was also a very nice place to be. And one thing I will say about Madrid is that it has a lot, a lot of people. Like I had never seen so many people at the same spot in my life. And that's a big statement because I lived in New York and even then like there were never this amount of people there. Well, the blue skies didn't last. Now, trying to find someone to draw here is gonna be a little bit harder. However, I have an idea. I'm gonna sketch La Veneno, the lady you just saw on the t-shirt at the store. So let's sit down at a coffee shop and start sketching. La Veneno was a Spanish trans icon, a controversial figure, but she lived authentically in the 90s and was a pioneer for trans visibility. Also, I love the TV series based on her life, Veneno, an amazing show that I totally recommend. I think it's a really moving story and artistically it's so fun. And when it came to art and editing, I think the directors had so much fun. I know I didn't base this first drawing on an actual human today, but I had always wanted to do some Veneno fan art. And what a better place to do so than in Madrid. All right, now that we have our first sketch, or rough sketch ready, um, I'm gonna go around and show you a little bit more of Madrid. Our future meets in the studio right now, finishing it off and adding some color. So when you hear this bell, that will mean the illustration is ready, and we'll come back to show you the final result. So another place I visited while I was in Madrid was the Mercado de San Miguel, and I got to eat a lot of good food with my friend Amelia. This is disgusting. Is it worth it though? Yeah. <laughs> we ended our day at Parque del Retiro with a really pretty sunset. Aww. And that bell means the illustration's ready. All right, here's the final. If you're new watching these videos, the idea is to make little postcards of the places that I visit. So here's the first postcard for today. I'm literally rushing because I need to catch a plane. But hopefully you like the final result. Um, I'm sure Future Me did a great job and I will see you in Amsterdam. So we are in Amsterdam now and we are gonna find another person to sketch. Technically, I've learned one thing of Amsterdam, that it's the fact that Amsterdam equals bike. I know, you know, it has a reputation for or or the red light district or tulips or cheese, I don't know. But the reality is I'm giving it to you, like this is the real tea. Amsterdam is a bike. If you don't believe me, look at this. Just kidding, look at all these bikes. Also, they're like boathouses, which to me it's insane. Like, imagine living there. That's on the water. Um, but yeah, I would love to stay in one of those. Even though it's a rainy day, we were hoping for a sunny day today. Um, so we will do our best. But anyway, let's just get to it. Let's just find our next victim to draw, and I will see you then. All right, and as you can see, it's really rainy. So my plan was to draw on that green hill under the sun, because it's even like 11 a.m., you know? Like, it should be sunny and nice, but no. So we're gonna have to adapt. So we're gonna have to find a person to draw. And I already did, you know? I like basically stalk people around the Van Gogh Museum line. And yeah, now I'm gonna go to a cafe, sit down there, and sketch from there.
And like I said, we're doing the lady on the red coat. Here's a reminder of what she looks like. And for this one, I like how it's turning out. I love her nose and I'm trying to have some heart shapes and lines on the design. Let's add some shading with my Copics. To me, this is the most fun part. And the rough sketch is done, and we will add some color later. But while Preacher Marcel finishes that, I figure it will be more fun to have some little tour. So let's go around Amsterdam. This is me very upset because I just walked 35 minutes to get to the wrong in the picture. While in Amsterdam, I did visit the Van Gogh Museum, one of my favorite painters ever. I love things with very strong brush strokes. Here you can see my favorite pieces from the museum. They also had this microscope, so you could see the textures on the brush strokes up close. This adds so much character to a painting, and that's the reason I'm a big fan of Van Gogh. All right, and it looks like Future Marcel is done with the sketch. Here's the final one. This one turned out a lot better than I thought. I actually love how the red coat pops against the blue background. And since she was in line for the Van Gogh Museum, I added some shapes as a homage to Van Gogh's Starry Night. I really love this one. I'm sure Future Me did a great job. I'm pretty happy with the result. Hopefully you guys like it. And right now we're in Central Station in Amsterdam still. And right now I am at the Central Station in Amsterdam and I'm off to my next stop, which to me it's going to be Paris, but you guys are gonna see me in Portugal first because I want to leave Paris for last. So I will see you in Portugal. All right, and we're officially in Portugal now. And guess what? Today, I am not alone. I have company. Here's my friend, Isabel. We're friends since high school, or before, technically. And we also have this tiny little company. There he is, that's Kenzo. So yeah, we're in Portugal. And so far, the three things that I've learned, you know, I said Amsterdam was a bike. And Portugal, it's three things. So one, tiles, tiles everywhere. And I am living for the tiles. Um, two, hills. <laughs> It's a lot of hills, so a lot of walking and, you know, at least, let's say I'm not skipping leg day. And then, three fish. Everything has fish. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, no objection here. Indeed. She lives here, actually, so it's the opinion of a local. But yes, right now we're walking towards Amirador. Where are we? What's the name of this? A viewpoint. A Alfama. viewpoint. Um, Alfama. We still need to find a third person to draw, but honestly, drawing them, it's a little bit tempting <laughs> to simplify my life and also like look how cute like tell me you wouldn't like to see that in my sketchbook and one stop Isabel didn't want me to miss was this little tunnel here that has the history of how Lisbon was founded as a comic let's find our third person to draw now there's gotta be someone here Oh wait, this guy for sure. I mean, that's some style right there, dog included. And this is me now sketching with the best view of my life and a Porto tonic. A drink I had never had before, but definitely loved. The changes of the river path. How long does the present lie? And I am almost done, but before you gotta look at this view again. The future now. All right, and the rough, it's ready. Here it is. Um, Anissa left me. There she goes. There she's leaving. And as you guys probably know by this point, 
future me is gonna finish this illustration. So why don't we explore a little bit more of Portugal and I will see you again when the illustration is ready. Isabel also took me to Sintra, a city near Lisbon, and they had the most beautiful palace. Like, what? And fun fact, I learned that castles and palaces are different things. Alright, and the illustration's ready. Here it is, the illustration from Portugal. I think this guy was really cool, the outfit was amazing. For the background, I added a sun and try to capture the sunset colors behind the guy. Overall, really, really happy with this one. And right now we are in Sintra. It's a palace. It's called the Palace de Peña, or Pena, I'm not sure. But you guys are about to go to France. So I will see you in France. Isabel, say goodbye to the camera. And yeah, see you in France. <laughs> oh, and if you're ever in Portugal, please eat 10 of these. You'll thank me later. All right, and we're finally in Paris now. We still have one person to draw, so we're gonna go around here. We're at Montmartre, I think that's how you pronounce that. And we're waiting for the sunset. So once we're done with that, we're gonna watch the sunset. I'm gonna show you the most beautiful sunset you've ever seen, allegedly. And yeah, and I'll show you a little bit more of Paris as well. Montmartre, I think that's how you pronounce it. Apparently, it's also known as a spot for artists. So right now, I have a lot of competition, but I don't have a lot of time before the sunset. So let's just sketch this fellow artist here. Not gonna lie to you, sketching in this tiny table is not the most comfortable thing, but we're pushing through. Almost done. And here's the rough. Now I'm gonna add some color in post. However, instead of going around and showing you more of Paris here, I did a full video in Paris where I did graffiti and went to the Louvre. So I think you should watch that one later. Also, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this video. And now it's time to catch the sunset. And I know it might not be the most beautiful sunset ever, but you don't get a sunset with the Eiffel Tower every day. So it still is a really good sunset. All right, and now we're here with Miss Thing. Um, and I hear the illustration is ready. Here's our final illustration from Paris. Um, I'm sure future me pimped it up and added color and it looks amazing. And I have these two girls here with me. Say Hello. Hi. hi. Hello, what are your names? Melissa. Melissa and Sian. Nice to meet you. Do you live in Paris? I don't live in Paris. Ah. Well, there was that. But yeah, basically, here's the final illustration from Paris. I'm sure Future Me did an amazing job. This one might be a bit simple, but I love the color palette. Just reds and blues in honor of the French flag. Here are the other four illustrations from the other countries. And yeah, let me know which one is your favorite. Let me know which one of these countries you would like to visit. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.